Hi, this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make the diamond tweed stitch. This is a stitch pattern made up of double crochet two togethers and chains, and I'm going to be demonstrating it using Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and a Clover Amore K-hook. Let me set this aside. And we can take a look at this finished swatch right here. It's got four rows. I started with a row of single crochets just to give myself a little bit more solid of a base. When you start with either stitches or chains, however you want to start your project with this stitch, you'll need a multiple of two plus one when working in rows. So basically, any odd number. Here I have 17 stitches. You can see this kind of has a sort of a lattice work feel to it, a little bit open lace and it's very pretty. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so here, again, I have my 17 stitches that I'm going to be working into, and I'm going to begin with a chain two, and then a double crochet in the next stitch, the second stitch of the row here. Now this chain two plus a double crochet is going to count the same as a double crochet two together. All right, normally, as you probably know, a chain three counts as a double crochet, but we've just done a chain two and double crochet to create a double crochet two together. Then I'll chain one. Then I'll begin the next double crochet two together. I'm gonna to put the first leg of it in the same stitch as the previous stitch. And then the second leg of it, I'm gonna skip a stitch and go into the one after that. Like so, double crochet two together chain one, yarn over, put the first leg in the same stitch as the last leg of the first one, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, two loops still left on the hook, I'll yarn over again, skip a stitch, go into the stitch after that, and then pull through all three to finish the stitch, like so. And I'll just continue that all the way across until I get to where there's only one stitch left. If you need to see this a little bit slower, please use the gear icon on YouTube, on the YouTube player, to be able to slow it down. However, odds are, you probably already know how to double crochet two together. If you don't, I have a video specifically for that as well. So, remember we put a chain one in between each of these double crochet two togethers. Otherwise, they won't be spaced out properly and they'll start to gather the fabric. Oops, dropped the whole thing. There we go. All right, last one here. Chain one, and you can see there's one stitch left. So what we do here at the end, remember we made our first double crochet two together in the first two stitches without a skip in between. So we're gonna end it the same way. Yarn over, go in the same stitch that we finished the last one in. Yarn over and go into that last one with no space in between. And that is the end of row one. Very pretty. All right, let's move to row two. Row two is a little different, but it's only at the ends. Only at the ends. And it's going to be the difference between row one and two, and that's the stitch pattern. Row one, row two, row one, row two. Let me show you how it begins. We're going to chain three, because rather than starting with a double crochet two together, this row starts with a double crochet. And that chain three takes the place of double crochet. Then we begin our double crochet two togethers. We're gonna put the first leg right in that first stitch, so the same stitch as our double crochet. Stop with two loops left on the hook, skip the chain one space, and go into the next stitch. Like that, and finish our double crochet two together. Then we're back to our stitch pattern. Chain one, go into the same stitch as the end of the last one, Skip the chain one space, go into the next stitch, and finish our double crochet two together. So we're never going to work in the chain spaces, we're just going to work into the tops of the stitches of the previous row. Again, remember to put that chain one in between. Even though you're not going to work into it, it's very important for spacing, so your fabric lies nice and flat. There we are. If you were working this stitch in the round, 
it would just be over a number of even stitches and you would finish the second leg of the last stitch in the same stitch as the first leg of the first stitch of the round. If you play with it a little bit, I think you'll see what I mean. Okay, so here we are at the end of row two. You can see we've got that great shape coming together here. Remember this row we started off with a double crochet in the same stitch as we began our double crochet two togethers. So for this one, we're going to work our last double crochet in the second to the last and the top of the last stitch. Now this was a chain two double crochet working as a double crochet two together. So we'll just go into the top of that double crochet. There we are. There's that. And then right away without a chain space, we'll work a double crochet right in that same stitch. That helps give us our nice straight sides. You can see right there. So to begin row two, or excuse me, row three, it's basically the same as row one. You're going to chain two and then not in that first stitch right there, but in the next one, you're going to work a double crochet. The chain two and double crochet here act as a double crochet two together. Then you'll chain one, go right back into that same stitch again, skip the chain one and go into the next stitch. And then you're, again, you're right back to that stitch pattern. Chain one, double crochet two together, chain one, double crochet two together. If there's any part of this you didn't catch, please feel free to rewind, watch the video over again. Like I say, change the speed with the little gear icon so you can make it suit you. I'm making this on the assumption that you already know how to double crochet two together and that you can read your stitches a little bit. So if you can't do those things and you need to slow it down, feel free. All right, so we're almost at the end here of row three. Remember we make our double crochets here, like so, and then the very last double crochet to get two together of row three, almost forgot that chain one. We're gonna go in the top of the last double crochet two together and then in the top of the chain three, since that counts as our double crochet here. Getting in that top of that chain three can be difficult. So if you prefer to use one of the double crochet, or excuse me, one of the chain three substitutes, like a chainless starting double crochet, instead of a chain three to begin these rows, that's fine too. There we go. Must have made that chain a little extra tight today. So we'll finish that off and that's it for row three. So then we'd go back to row two, row three, row two, row three. That's the basic repeat. And that's all there is to the diamond tweed stitch. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching.